the great rugby players in the world today, John Eels. Pretty much been there, done that, done everything. But he would love a win here tonight. The big news from the Reds' point of view is they do get back their champion inside back, Tim Horan. The veteran of 79 test matches missed the game at Carisbrook and will bring much needed organization to the midfield. Regular hooker Michael Foley is still not available because of injury. Sean Hartman wears number two. Elton Flatley, Flatley moves to first 5 8. The goal kicking duties go to the rather reluctant John Eels, who also captains the side. And the reserve bench includes Fiji International Jacob Raluni and highly promising flanker Scott Favor. Welcome back tonight to Tim Horan. He'll make a big difference to the game, Murray. Well, he will on the back, certainly. I don't know whether he'll make any difference to the forwards. I think Queensland have a, an apparent weakness in the front row, but certainly in the backs, when we look at the back line, it's a magnificent team. Tony Bedford, the manager of the Hurricane side, ready to bring the local heroes out. They will get some welcome for sure. A couple of local boys in the side. And uh, they look pretty focused on the job at hand here tonight. And uh, listen to this reception. Big start to the season for Norm Hewitt, leading the side to victory. And the stadium is at Okiafiaki, substituted just after half time last week. Graham Murray is stuck with the same team that won the opener in Wellington last week. The word out's about number six, Campbell Feather, but he's passed a fitness test and will play in front of his home team crowd. The other Taranaki man on the side is Prop Gordon Slater, a man who's worn the famous Amber and Black well over 100 times. Six All Blacks in this lineup to be led by hooker Norm Hewitt. Yoki Phil Ewan made a big impression off the bench last week, and so too did flanker Simo Satiti. Jason O'Halloran, the quiet achiever of the Hurricanes backline for sure. Well, I think the key to the backline really is so instrumental. So many of the moves revolve around him. Certainly the organisation defensively. Andy Turner from South Africa, the man who refereed the Commonwealth Games gold medal final in 1998. He's in charge. Tupper Henning and Paul McPhee on the side. Whoa. Hurricanes into a light breeze in the first half. David Holwell gets the game underway and immediately down for the kick to be made and immediately into touch. A surprising amount of wind too coming from the northwest. Reasonably strong coming across the field. Interesting late change there, Shane Drum at uh, first 5-8. Not Elton Flatley, as uh, we were led to believe. First throw by uh, Sean Hardman, dragged down by Nathan Sharp. Snaffled, though, by Kupu Venisi. Good chance here for the Hurricanes early on. Holwell works it for Iremia. Just near the 22. Spice off to Holwell again. O'Halloran pops a pass beautifully! Try scored by Tana Umanga. Well, it certainly took me by surprise. It looked like it was a training run, an exercise. The rhythm of the pass, the release of the ball. And Umanga clearly sailing through the hole. He's happy about it, as you can see. But it was superb. It was just popped up beautifully for Umanga, who came back on the angle. The key to that break was the angle that Umanga ran back towards the goalpost. So this will be a good one to see. Well, Jason O'Halloran, superb. And not a hand laid on him. Missed out on a try last week, Tana Umanga. Back in business tonight, though. Try converted by David Holwell. And the best possible start made by the Hurricanes, 7-0. Well, it all really started from a turnover from the line-out. It was a mistake, and the ball sort of popped out. Vanissi gathered it, and there were two or three phases. Drum goes short. Ball lost forward by Venetia this time. So an opportunity here as it's uh, wide of Eels. Big defence there on Daniel Herbert. Reds near the 22 in Hurricanes territory. 
Here's a chance from Sean Hardman. He gets barreled to the ground. Now Sam accordingly. Off to Chris Latham. Tackle missed. But uh, Cullen gets him head on. And penalty against the Reds. Yes, it's a tough call that. We see that in every game. Queensland forwards driving over the top and accused by the referee of taking out the man. So let's see that. Well, beautifully done. Latham through the hole. Cullen pulls him down. Now let's have a look at the Queensland forwards going over, just driving the opposition away. Well, he wasn't bound. That was the problem. If he'd gone in and, and bound onto another player, grabbed another jersey even, and driven an opposition man, then it was quite legitimate. Kevin Yates. Good game at the stadium last week. Afiyaki the clean take. 10 metre line Hurricanes territory. Get away, Happy get to take there, the Reds forward there. pack on. They didn't look too flash last week against the Highlanders. Spice off the deck for Holwell. Here's O'Halloran almost. Tackle ball. <laughs> Having a big impact early on, Jason O'Halloran. As I mentioned at the start, the quiet achiever in that uh, Hurricanes back line, Jason O'Halloran. Well, the Hurricanes keen to do things at speed. You will have noticed that line out very quickly thrown, very well executed by Afiaki at the front. Good clean ball. Jason Spice was itching to tap that penalty and keep it alive. What a great start for the Hurricanes side. John Connolly counted 36 missed tackles last week by the Reds against the Highlanders. And he'd have a few ticks in the book already. And we've only been going five minutes. Afiaki comes down from a great height and he's playing advantage here and it'll be a free kick Six too many in there it was interesting actually because Afiaki hit, hit the deck but the penalty as you said Nisbo was exactly that too many in the line out although dragged down by Eels which of course he's not entitled to do while the player's in the air. Wait for the call. Grouch and hold. Break good. Grouch and hold. Engage. Another terrific opportunity for this lethal Hurricanes back line. Gordon Falcon detaches. Spice. Big gap for Jason Spice. Off it goes to Aramia. 10 metres out in centre field. They're rampant at the moment. Hewitt. Holwell. Five metres short. Coming slowly for Spice, they're lining up to the left. Now Iremia, Umanga. They've got uh, offside the Reds. He'll hold on as long as he can, play the advantage. Now it's away for Yates, slips it across to Jonah Lomu. Look at that. That is brute force. Well, it certainly was Bruce brute force because he was covered by two men greatly executed past it through the hole he went jason spice who amir set it up here and this is where the referee called for the player offside the two men had lobo covered and he was stationary also just sheer power strength aggression determination to get to the goal line he was flat-footed Absolute vintage Jonah Lomu from virtually a standing start to push three players out of the road and pick up his third try of the season. And it's all the Hurricanes in the first eight minutes. Interesting there, uh, Nesbo, the try was created by Jason Spice, and that's exactly what he needs to do this season. That's the first time he's made a decisive break uh, so far, and it's a very good sign because it's going to take the pressure off the midfield. Game analyst tonight, Chris Laidlaw. Lomu watches as Holwell attempts from the sideline. Absolutely correct too, Chris. Uh, exactly what I think the Hurricanes will be trying to do is attack near, near the scrum. But this is Lomu at the end. Well, with the goal line so close, the third player was on a hiding to nothing, but the first two players really should have closed them down. He only had two metres of, of room to the touchline. Shane Drum again goes short. Campbell Feather, the local boy from Taranaki in the number six jersey. Now Spice, Holwell, they're controlling the game. This is beautifully weighted too. Latham. 
And the Hurricanes players slipping to ground. It's just a little bit too greasy out there. I suspect they put a bit of water on the ground because certainly hasn't been any rain. Yes, no, I, I think it's in perfect condition, really. I mean, they've probably got small sprigs on. Interesting, the referee penalised the Hurricanes here, which he's done to the to uh, the Reds also, so he's been consistent. Cleverly done by Umanga, back for Cullen. Well, I guess that backfired, really. Umanga keeping the ball alive, Cullen kicking the touch. Therefore, Queensland throw, it would have been Hurricanes throw. So the Queenslanders had a terrible start to this game. It's not what they would have wanted after a, a good hiding by the Highlanders last week. Dragged down by Kefu. They've made a couple of late changes here, the Reds. Connors is in at lock. Murray is on the side of the scrum. They're really taking it here. Here's Cordingly. Trying to rip straight through the middle, it's been stolen, but advantage was being played by Andy Turner. And it's a penalty here for the Reds. So the penalty was a very actually was very clear. It was for collapsing the mall. In other words, one of the Hurricanes players dived at the feet of the opponent and he was bound in the mall. The ball mall was moving forwards. Technically, the only way to stop that is physically to hold it up, drive it back, rip the ball off the opposition. In circumstances like that, Murray, better just to go take it down. No? It's the three points as against a very likely seven. So Shane Drum, who wasn't uh, supposed to be in the side, is the goal kicker. And the other change is uh, to Mark Connors is at lock. Mark Murray is on the side of the scrum. start by Shane Graham so the Reds on the board close to 10 minutes gone but the Hurricanes lead by 12 to 3 well I'd say that would be a real morale booster for Queensland they needed some points they're down two tries to nil they need to get into this game they need to have the ball a little bit a few phases get their rhythm and confidence back Glenn Panaho who described last week's game as a debacle Taken down by the skipper, John Eels. I wonder whether Drum playing is Eels saying, I don't want to kick the goals. He's had problems with that groin. And uh, maybe Drama's playing because of that. And he makes uh, the quick clearance. So good effort by the Hurricanes. Queensland taking the ball in. The great John Eels, of course, secure ball. But the Hurricanes gathering around, hustling, bustling, driving Queensland back. Eventually, Queensland forcing, forced to put the ball into touch. Hurricanes ball. Badly thrown, though, by Hewitt. This should come on the red side. No, in fact, it's untidy there, too. So Kefu plows ahead. Almost to the 10-metre line. Now, accordingly, off to Tim Horan. Solid charge again by Kefu. Now, Dram away for Daniel Herbert. He's taken by Dion Waller. Now, accordingly, starting to get into this game now, the Reds. As Nathan Williams has the ball stolen off him. And now Campbell Feather. Here we go. Colin O'Halloran. Lemo in the clear. Support on the inside as well. And it'll bounce up, and it's O'Halloran. Somebody had to get it. And it's Jason O'Halloran. Well, look at the eyes of Jason O'Halloran. We just saw John Connolly's in the grandstand as well. Right from the goal line. That's the goal line there. Christian Cullen on to O'Halloran. Time pass by Uramir. Lomu, clear space, which he loves. Almost the ankle tap. Good defence. Inside pass. One of three could have got that. In fact, four. Jason O'Halloran was the fourth player in support. That's a good lesson to all young rugby players. Keep following up. Keep supporting and pick up the spoils. 
He's a prolific try scorer in Super 12 rugby, Jason O'Halloran. Following up and comes up with his 15th try in the competition. Conversion is made. 19 points to three. What a start. Well, it makes a mockery of my pre-match predictions. I thought Queensland would come out with a hiss and a roar after last week and really fire some shots. And it's the reverse, really. The Hurricanes are controlling this game. All the big guns are in the match early. Drum again. Again with the short kick. Going to the shortest man in the forward pack of the Hurricanes. That's uh, Venetian. The tactic works. Big tackle made on Damian Smith. Now Drum to Kefu. Three tries to nil. And only 13 minutes gone. Sam Cordingly. Herbert. Space goes up high on Latham. Defence holding though. Desperate times here for the Reds. It's a huge deficit already. Drama's in there. And playing a long advantage. Andy Turner went for the high tackle, so that would have been no doubt the one made by Jason Spice. Well, it was a long time. I think it's tremendous when referees show the courage of ruling the advantage law, maximising on it. So that was the high tackle there, beautifully picked up by our cameraman. And the culprit, Jason Spice. Sometimes those little guys just love to leap up and grab a guy around the neck, don't they? It's about all you can do, Murray, when you're that size. <laughs> You'd know. I know. <laughs> So here's another chance for Shane Drum. Well, it's a calm, nonchalant kicking style of Shane Drum. Straight through the centre, did the business, they needed it. 19 points to 6, who would have thought it? Lovely rhythm from the goal kicker. Two penalties for him, but three tries for the Hurricanes in the first 12 minutes of the game. 19 points to 6. Sean Hardman, who takes his place with Michael Foley again, not available tonight. Accordingly for Drum inside the 22. Umanga stays back and just didn't quite get it right. It's a difficult one, that one when the ball lands right on, on your toes. It's whether you wait for it to bounce or try and take it as it hits the deck. You need perfect timing, of course, to take it as it hits the deck. Yes, we saw uh, Tana Umanga there. He's missed just one Super 12 game in four years. Andy Turner. Talking to his mate uh, Tupper Henning. It's extraordinary, isn't it? Tana Humanga playing all but one game in the Super 12 since it's commenced. It's fantastic effort. Congratulations. That's endurance. Endurance and commitment, of course. Every player at this level is playing under little niggling injuries quite often. Sore bodies, muscles. So it's a mental attitude too to play that number of games consecutively. I wonder if he can see. It's good to have a hard man in the front row, isn't it? Oh, Every oh, team oh, needs one. You're not using in your endo, are you, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> On a matter of peer, Murray. <laughs> what does that mean, Murray? Thought of a sound my English teacher taught me when I was in the fourth form. <laughs> yeah, back to the rugby. 15 minutes gone. Be interesting to watch Andy Turner here. We saw last week Tupper Henning there on the far side. Very pedantic about the halfback putting the ball in straight. Free kick anyway, so. 
Tota Kefu handed off by David Wilson to Herbert. Damian Smith, the veteran on the right wing side, get driven away, down in a good tackle by Campbell Feather. Now Dram. Kefu was getting involved early, but uh, Yates is up on him, but let him get away. Finally got him. There's number four, that's uh, Mark Connors. Afiaki. Beautifully timed by Afiaki. He came from behind the ruck. He saw the ball exit. Turner was onto it. He, he noticed. Drum again. Herbert gets in close. Gets, gets drilled. Flattened by Gordon Falcon. Now Horan uh, quickly across to Damian Smith. But this is good defense here by the Hurricanes. A lot of endeavor from the Reds, but uh, so far no way through here. Well, it was persistence by the Reds, keeping it close to pick and go. I think they stole that from the Highlanders' book last week. They're certainly targeting that area. Que Queensland are certainly using uh, Kefu as much as they possibly can, and they, they probably will all match. Uh, he's the danger man. If he can break through and create uh, space for them, then we're in trouble. And here you see... Once again, rolling off players, bounces the referee off. He's a very dangerous player. And the, hurric the Hurricanes' close in defence is, uh, is what let them down occasionally last week. It's tight so far, and it seems to be working. Glenn Panaho is the man injured. Shocking run with injuries. The Reds, Matt Cobain, Ben Tune, Dan Crowley, Nathan Spooner, Michael Foley, all on the injured list and uh, Glenn Panaho no sympathy at all from the referee after coming off an injury he gets penalized number one binding of course he'd be referring to the new rule where the loose head prop can't put his hand down yes oh this is a good angle to watch it from fantastic Let's have a look. He's got his hand on his knee. Okay, and his hand goes down below, and then his hand goes onto the deck. That's exactly exactly the rule. Mind you, it was very difficult for Glenn Panaho because the, the scrum was about to collapse, of course. I think he was breaking his fall with his left hand, but that, of course, comes from pressure in the front row body position of his opponent. Accordingly, for Dram, Horan goes on the inside, doesn't get it. Now Kefu runs into Falcon, two big number eights in this game. Kefu did well to make 10, 12 metres. Now accordingly, away for Herbert, on the inside, lost and lost forward. Yeah, well, the Reds are doing their job. Obviously, they're targeting through the middle. It must be their game plan early in the match. But they're certainly doing that. They're breaking the advantage line each time. They're taking sort of 10 metres each spot. We can see Kefu doing that well that time. Provided they keep retaining possession, of course, it's a, it's a fairly forecourt sort of style. But the smallest mistake, of course, and it can be a turnover. Right in centre field here. Anything could happen with this Hurricanes back line. Well, that's an interesting call by the scrum half, kicking the ball back into the scrum uh, Sam accordingly interesting look at this frustration I think just sort of nudging <laughs> Jason Spice not happy Tipped on the hurricane side, so Spice, who's running well here tonight. Well, poor Queensland defence there, really, the halfback shouldn't have been able to run around the back like that. They keep missing the tackles. Holwell, gee whiz, uh, Damien Smith was a mile offside out on the right wing side. On his feet, on his feet. They're going to get out Turn of this, over. And uh, away goes Herbert. Play on, play on, straight out. Snapped up by. Mark Murray, number six. That's the halfway line. Now accordingly, 
drum. Kefu again involved. Iremia meets him head on. Good spot tackle by the big centre. Now Tim Hora trying to spark something. Losing it forward again. They're making their own errors here. Unforced. Chance for the Hurricanes. Here's Cullen. Just about. Couldn't hang on. Talk about hitting the ball at top. He came in like a knife. That was a seven-pointer if he'd uh, held on to it, wasn't it? Well, I think the defence was still lined up, but really, well, off his chest. We couldn't quite see it on that camera angle, how, how hard he hit the line. So that's probably cramp, I would imagine. Phenomenal try scorer, Christian Cullen. Two last week against the Sharks. 31 in test matches. 30 odd in the Super 12 games. Well, the reserve bench is looking fairly comfortable and relaxed. Maybe they haven't noticed the scoreboard. Which reads 19 points to 6. Just over. Halfway through the first spell. Accordingly, off to Smith. Whistles past the hole while he hangs on. Now Kefu. They've had the better of the last 10 minutes, the Reds, but they haven't been able to convert it into seven pointers. Another penalty coming their way, though, as the ref plays advantage. There's a big burst by Cordingly. Knocked down, and Cullen has managed to hang on to it. Sam accordingly, beautiful break through the centre. Lovely little solo run because it was solo. He had very little support. It was a dummy there. So beat Norm Hewitt's tackle. This is the one here that was interesting. Jason Spice brought the dummy. And that was the overhead pass that was looking for the seven-pointer. Christian Cullen, beautiful little intercept to relieve, save the day, so to speak. I think this is uh, Sam accordingly who made the big break. And then fell rather awkwardly. I think uh, Tara Umanga landed on him. And uh, I think there's uh, blood to the face. So Raluni may well be on. I'm not sure why. certainly uh, looked quite threatening in the last five or six minutes. Lovely time of night, the twilight. That, that penalty well, uh, that was just picture, awarded. Yeah. I'm not sure that the referee got that one right because Cullen released the ball the moment he went to ground and there was a Queensland player actually playing it with his hands on the ground. So yes, it was the captain too, David Wilson. Yes, and it seemed One to me captains. to be uh, justifiable the other way, but perhaps we've seen it wrongly. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Jacob Rowlooney on the field for Sam Cordingly, so he'll get to feed this attacking scrum for the Reds. Great attacking position. Look at that on the short side. Huge short side. Tim Horan's off to the left. Kefu hangs on. Now they've got to be careful here. They could have conceded it. And Rao Looney. No. Hang on. Knocked on. Well, extraordinary, really. I think the Hurricanes twisted the scrum to force the Reds to going one way, which was the short side. And the ball seemed to hang there. And Rao Looney really, ooh, I don't know if that was a knock on. Just a little one, Murray, I think. Depends which way you're looking at it, I suppose. Yeah. Holwell from his in goal and the clearance made by David Holwell safely out well the Reds desperately needed that try would have put it at 19-13 after kicking the goal well, it just popped out and have a little look at this oh I don't think it was a knock on I think he regathered the ball that was a try right too, yep. on the field for 10 seconds and uh, denied a try Hardman straight to Connors. The goal line is only a matter of five metres away here for the Reds. And they've got this going well. And they've got the try. Well, that's the same try that Joseph Raluni was, was penalised for not scoring. Fletcher Dyson comes up with the ball in just his second match for the Reds. And they certainly have fought their way back into this after the early setbacks. Well, they have. That was a great little effort, actually. Have a look at this drive. Beautifully taken. Two hands. Brought down. 
the prop coming around driving right smack on the center of it and just keeping the ball eels coming around from behind the drive coming from behind straight through the middle of the hurricanes pack tremendous try so a lot of forwards hanging off there it's fairly obvious that the reds tactics are to go straight through the middle to pick and go to drive collectively one game for the waratahs last season fletcher dyson trying his luck in the north and a debut super 12 try big one two for the reds made by Shane Graham it's down to six points 19 to 13 these are little moments that I find so intriguing so interesting will that ignite the fire again in the Hurricanes pack let's see what happens from this kickoff how hard will they hit it try and win back possession so there it is in the air yes there it is for Norm Hewitt 10 out from the 22 Spice to Holwell Did it on his own this time, Holwell, and infringement on the ground by the Reds, preventing the ball coming back. Well, it is a sign of character in a side when they react after the try is scored against them. David Wilson is a master, isn't he, of getting his body in the precisely the wrong place. Uh, and he does it very well. He's held up a lot of New Zealand movements over the years by doing exactly that. This time he got uh, pinged for it, and, and rightly so. Yes, but he's um, he's doing a great job for his team also, Chris. As you say, the wrong place from a from a Hurricanes point of view, but from a Queensland and Australian point of view, so often he effectively kills the ball judiciously without giving away a lot of penalties. Every now and again, a referee zones in on him. And it's debatable, isn't it, whether the new rules actually play into David Wilson's uh, hands. I think they actually disadvantage a player like him. Uh, they actually they actually play into Kronfeldt's uh, camp rather more than Wilson's, I think. Yes, certainly Kronfeldt. Well, I think it puts great emphasis now on the second and third players getting to the breakdown. It's not That's only right. the open side flanker. That's it. He really did force that low and to the left. No goal. 19 to 13. Well held by Spice. Umanga sets up the counter attack. Just near halfway. Coming for Spice. O'Halloran. Clever little kick. Latham had to give it away. Hewitt is up smartly on him too. That's the 22 now. And Hurricanes will get the ball. Well, it was a deft kick for O'Halloran. Beautifully placed. The ball sat high. Extremely difficult, wasn't it, for Chris Latham? And I think it was the Ramirez that took him ball and all as he hit the deck. And the Hurricanes driving forward and winning the scrum, giving themselves an opportunity. So this looks like a scrum move once again. Good to see. Very difficult, of course, when the scrum turns like that on the angle. To work any play from the scrum, but surely it's a great opportunity for Falcon, the number eight, to feed the scrum half as a sort of a short first five eight. Watch Campbell Jonah in this movement. He's playing at first five here. Whipped away by Spice. Straight now they change five. direction up to uh, Lomu. Venisi is right there with him. And they start again with uh, Jason Spice. Holwell times it over to O'Halloran. Cullen still in the field of play. Up for Dion Waller. Well, well, just like six metres away. Now Holwell pops up for Iremia. Spice. Having an outstanding game tonight, Jason Spice. Handed away by Umanga for Holwell. Head down and straight ahead. 
Umanga slips it up for Gordon Slater. Big favourite here at Rugby Park. Now Spice again. Umanga just bashing away at the defence. And the defence held, no doubt about it. So Murray feeling pretty good as he analyses and studies the, the play. Well, the Hurricanes taking it to the Reds, but the Reds held. Knuckles Connolly, John Connolly. <laughs> Queensland coach since 1989. There's Gordon Slater's charge, held up by a couple of backs. Then it was Umaga's turn. Bravely taken head on by Sean Hartman. He's already had one knock to the head. Looking big, powerful and strong tonight, Tana Umaga. Nice hairstyle, Tana. I think he heard you, Murray. Styles on the field for the Reds. Well, it's a great attacking op opportunity. Will they use a scrum move around the short side? Scrum's turning this way. Could be Queensland that did that. Ooh, little fault at the back. Campbell Feather was uh, standing off the scrum with Holwell in there. And that's uh, presumably against Dion Waller, who's toppled over the top. Yep, number four. Well, once again, I think that's a hard call, provided those players are bound. To me, it should be legitimate. I like him. That's, that's, that's call. So Feather set it up. And that was Umanga in the tackle. Well, Waller did go over the top. Beautifully taken by John Eels. The yard-long arms of John Eels stretching above the others. Raluni is still there, now Dram. This has pretty much gone straight up. No real pressure at all on the Hurricanes. In fact, it's uh, claimed by the local side. Now Lomu takes on half the Reds' forward pack. Get back, Red, get back. He wants to have a chat with an Okiapiaki. on your way with the player blocking the ball yep. I'm turning the penalty around and I'm giving you a yellow card for boots on players you said before yes, time did, did. so yellow card for rucking the man so 14 players now for the Hurricanes and that'll get them to half time and a little bit beyond. Great opportunity now for the Reds. Well, it's a lengthy penalty, isn't it? The yellow card, the sin bin, because 10 minutes in the sin bin is a long time in Super 12 rugby. Player was pulled down on the line out, so another chance for Shane Drum. Now let's have another look at the sin binning. So Lomu set it up and it was killed by Queensland. Well, Apiaki, yeah. I don't know about that. It was a hard one. Once again, if you've actually got players on the ground around the ball, yet you don't have much choice as a forward. I, I, it's a tough call. I mean, he sh he's got to be sure that he's rucking uh, to, to clear the ball, and it's difficult to tell whether he was actually doing that there. But uh, referees do tend, I think, to be a little bit too tough on players in those circumstances. Two penalties so far tonight for Shane Drum, and also the conversion of the try scored by Fletcher Dyson. Now they've got to control it somehow. Ball is loose. And Holwell, well, that is cool and calm from the Hurricanes. The Reds carry it on, though. Now Kettle.
takes the fair catch and unleashes another one. And here we go again. Quickly fired off for Latham. So it's a 50 metre gain to the Hurricanes so far. Gordon Falcon couldn't find it. Now the Reds have got it. Get away, get away. Ten out from the 22, Raul Looney for Dram, almost. Benisi got him, and it was a forward pass. Yes, well, it was a forward pass probably because his body was going backwards as he released the ball with that sort of shoulder-high tackle. There it is. So there's nothing in this game now, 19 points to 13. Hurricanes started with a hiss and a roar, but Queensland have certainly ground their way back into contention. Player down to the Hurricanes. Quickly taken by Falcon. Away to O'Halloran, here they go. Eremia, copybook tackle though, made by Herbert. Loose near the 22. Finally, it's uh, Falcon. Well, there were so many little mistakes there, I couldn't work out whose advantage it was, but the referee certainly has. He's given it to the Hurricanes. So, David Holwell. now with uh, seven forwards be interesting to see whether they intend to drive this or whether they clear it straight from the top i'm expecting the latter claimed by dion waller now falcon off to hewitt his old hawks bay teammate now spice hole across the face of o'halloran wide to cullen opening up beautifully on the inside is umbaya this is a sensational try Well, the locals are telling the story, but this would be one of the best tries I've ever seen. We didn't see the way it started there, but it was a beautiful move. But Cullen, the pass to Cullen, superb, and the pass to Umang is superb. And the deft little sidestep off his right foot. Well, I'd love to see that again and again. For a moment there, it looked as if uh, Umang had made the wrong decision. We thought he was going to go wide and out uh, around the outside, but he, he, he took the decision. He came in, he had, still had a man or two to beat. He did it very well. Great try. Conversion made by David Holwell. Two to right for Tana. Four tries means a bonus to the Hurricanes. Well, it certainly was a complete try from set phase where they drove it with a little move and then moved it. Wonderful stuff, and we saw all the skills. Again, the short kick out. Claimed by Gordon Slater. Good power by the Taranaki man. Now Holwell. Could it go again? Cullen. Cullen on the outside. And Umaya once more. Goodness me. Well, I'm sure it's going to be a quiet night in New Plymouth tonight. Sensational stuff. Christian Cullen a brave man who gives Christian Cullen the outside break and that's what he was given there have a look at this Cullen through the hole now let's look at this Latham gives him the outside break oh, and he takes it held him up in the pass to Umaga beat the desperate covering defense and nails his second try and probably in a minute and a half Christian Cullen keeping the ball alive see the way he had the ball on his outside arm that's why players run with the ball on their outside arm the tackler goes in the outside arm is free to bring the pass back inside. Remember, this is all with 14 players. I wonder how well they'd do if they only had 13. That 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 try came essentially from bad defensive formation by the Reds. 
they they were well and truly out of position both centers and the, the most experienced players in the team made a real hash of that defense but once again it's the uh, vision of the team in possession it was david holwell through the pass tough kick for holwell Three points to 13. What a turnaround in the last five minutes. Brown changes tactics, goes the long way. Now here's the, the hero of the moment, Umanga. Three tries already in the match. Spice. Waiting back is uh, Kefu, but it's out. And the clock ticks by. And Oki Afiaki sitting there admiring those two tries, no doubt. Well, it's wonderful play by the Hurricanes. Of course, when there's a man down, there's two options. Close down the game, play out the 10 minutes, or open it up and throw it around. Well, they've just opened it up. Absolutely lethal out wide, the Hurricanes. Eels with the take. Number 21 is Nick Styles on the field, as he was last week, early in the game. 10 metre line Hurricanes territory. Cordingley's back. Now Drum. Daniel Herbert's been shut down in midfield so far by the Hurricanes. Now they heave it away again to Drum. Horan, quick hands to Nathan Williams. Tries to get on the outside of Jonah. Does pretty well. But there's an inevitable result. Yes, well, Jonah didn't like that, I don't think. And he got hold of him by the scruff of the neck. Well, Queensland, what to do in this situation? Really need to get their hands on some ball, control a little bit of the ball, keep possession for a while. It's all Hurricanes once again. Waller with a clean take. Here's uh, Norm Hewitt trying to burrow through. Spice. Good kick on the right foot. It's not his natural kick. And uh, offside against the Reds. Number six, the man. Uh, Mark Murray. It's good to see Jason Spice using his boot. He's kicked very, very effectively tonight. Three or four of those high kicks have taken a lot of pressure off the Hurricanes just at the right moment. He and Holwell are playing well. Yeah, it's extraordinary, isn't it, when you look at the score, 33 points to 13, and we were saying there were only six points in arrears about seven or eight minutes ago. What a fantastic first half for all these spectators here in New Plymouth, but really the target for Wellington was to ask the question of the Queensland defence, keep the ball in hand and really take it to them, and they did that amazingly well. Tremendous strike power, of course, this Hurricane side has. We all know that, but it's whether they have the spirit and the teamwork, and that's growing quickly. For Queensland, of course, the target they had was through the middle, pick and go, drive, smash, bash, and they did effectively on one occasion, scored a very good try, but really it's been all hurricanes in this first half yes 46 points scored in the first half the big problem for the reds they've only got 13 of them 33 to 13 at rugby park in new plymouth yeah super crowd here at uh, rugby park tonight 20,000 packed in and uh, so far so good for the locals five tries to one 33 to 13 quite an extraordinary first half and of course the Hurricanes start the second spell with 14 players on the park. Still a couple of minutes to go before Afiaki is due back. Yes, I would be interested in knowing the team talk, Queensland team talk at half time. Second half underway from the boot of Shane Drum. Well held by Dion Waller he's, for the Hurricanes. He's so good in that area of play from the kickoffs. Or oh, tipped down and uh, deliberately done. But I tell you what, it might well have saved a try at the other end. Well, of course, if he had held the pass or held the intercept, he would have scored. So Spice, is he content to kick for touch, take the line out? Wise choice, I believe, so early in the second half. Afiaki's got the call, so it was only a minute. 
probably get the obligatory lecture. Might have already had him. Well, I'm sure he gave uh, Nokia the message then. It was more like, okay, guys, let's get going. Apiaki doesn't get this. It's uh, thrown over his head. Nick kicked ahead by Benisi. Now Daniel Herbert. Eremia goes fairly high on him. Five metres in the Reds' territory. Accordingly, off to Kefu. He's been standing just a little wide all day, but... Uh, the Hurricanes have got themselves offside. Accordingly now for Herbert. And he'll have to play the penalty. That's a good long advantage, Andy Turner. Yes, I didn't quite catch that was what that was for. Offside. The Reds miss the midfield looks very, very sluggish, doesn't it? Uh, there just seems to be no zip there at all. Certainly Horan hasn't had the impact that everybody thought he would have. Well, the key, of course, is to have ball going forward for someone like Horan, although he's very good in every situation normally. But uh, they're, they're content with actually picking and going and not actually moving the ball from the ruck going forward. Quite a, quite a, different, quite a different sort of attitude. One against the throw this time for the Hurricanes. Spice for Holwell. Latham on the run. Lomu leading the charge. Off to Damien Smith. Not much he can do though. Holwell. Off the knee of David Holwell. Having a look for Cullen. Now Latham, who's got right across to the other side. And that's a pretty good hack ahead by Latham. He's coming back very quickly. Holwell has a look around to see who's there. And in the end, does it very cleverly. Kefu, now he'll get a head of steam up for sure. But uh, maybe should have taken the opposition on. Afiaki does well. Got turned the wrong way, one would suspect. But it's against the Reds. Well, Kefu did the right thing. He showed his range of skills. Normally we would expect him to put his head down and charge into anybody and everybody. But he did a beautiful little chip kick over the top and took out Afiaki as he caught the ball. You recommend that as a tactic by number eight, Smurray? Well, I think it's nice to see that he's got the vision, the ability to do yeah. a range of things, not just charge like he, like he often does. Yeah, he's a very, he's a well-rounded player, all right. Yes, I think his only mistake there was, I think Afiaki was in the air as Kefu dr drove into him. Falcon unloads off the top for Spice. Holwell. Eremia, right on the halfway line. Spice up to Kevin Yates, who gets uh, over the ground pretty smartly for a prop forward. Hole rips it across the Falcon, short to Cullen. Goes into Williams head on. Shows that enormous upper body strength that he has, Christian Cullen. Beautifully delivered again for Spice. Angling it away from Latham, and not quite getting the bounce that he wanted. Although it will stay there, so they won't have to come all the way back. It'll be a 22. Yes, it was a strange uh, selection of option there, I think, from Jason Spice. Christian Cullen was wandering back after the action beforehand, and perhaps that affected his decision. Cleverly done. Murray back inside. Oh, that's, uh, that's a head-high job. This could be time in the bin here, too. Yes, I don't believe there was any malice in that. I think it was probably the enthusiasm of the moment. I think it's quite right. I don't really think it deserved a... Well, it was pretty high there, but I don't think it deserved a yellow card. I've got a few people in the commentary box looking at me sideways. Maybe it did deserve a yellow card. 
I agree with you, Murray. I don't think it deserved a yellow card. Certainly a penalty, but it wasn't malicious. It wasn't intentional. Hartman, Eels tips it off the top. Damien Smith, he was the one who copped the head height. And it wasn't thrown in straight. connection there between Spice and uh, Falcon. Falcon not able to deliver, has to go in again Spice. Holwell directing play pretty well. And uh, back it goes towards the 22. Well, interesting the tactics of the Hurricanes in the second half. Nothing simple with this team. Obviously well thought out, so the idea is to control the game, the position on the field, play the game in the opposition territory. Make it difficult, very difficult for Queensland forcing them to chance their arm perhaps and with the lead of course the Hurricanes can afford to do this well, he's walking no question about that can't do that and so it's a free kick and of course any little mistake when a team's inside there 22 is a crucial mistake as we'll see scrum from the Hurricanes Three shots at it there, Sean Hartman. Now. Seven, you knock down to the back, 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 That's against David Wilson. Now, so in other words, the rule there is the loose forwards must be tied onto the scrum till the ball exits. So really, the ball exits when Gordon Falcon picks up the ball. And as you could see, when he picked up the ball, he also had David Wilson hanging around his neck. So it's still in, but Wilson's already out. Nick Skiles against uh, Gordon Slater. There's David Wilson. 72 test matches, the 33-year-old. Yes, yeah, superb resilience for an open side flanker. Oh, well. Looking for another three. Out they go again. The Hurricanes now to 36 points to 13. This is good intelligent stuff from the Hurricanes, isn't it? They're playing uh, the, the options, they're playing the position. Uh, it's, it's the best we've seen for a long time. That didn't go 10 metres. So we'll go back to halfway. Well, it was touch and go, really. It bounced into touch, I'd say, right on the 10 metre. I heard the touch judge say it was just short of the 10 metre, which means it didn't go 10, therefore scrum Hurricanes ball. And they've split their defence, the Hurricanes. Big cheer here for Paul Tito from Taranaki. Apiaki hasn't had a very busy night. And Paul Tito, the local hero, comes into the game. So have a look at this, three on each side, Hurricanes. Which way is it going? Number Lovely. eight makes four on one side. Lovely pass, held up for Umanga. The red side though, now Nathan Williams. And Petito loves to run with the ball, the big fella. Eels goes reeling back and stays down too. Now Holwell stabs a little one through. Norm Hewitt's offside, I reckon. But uh, Latham's got it anyway. Concern for the Reds because John Eels is flat on the deck as Hardman makes some ground. Ball was out, says the referee. So the Reds have to start again. Now it's coming on the Hurricane side slowly. And uh, John Eels is in a bit of strife here. So we've also got Tim Horan on the deck too. So that's two of their very best players. John Eels, Tim Horan, both looking like they've had bangs on the head. to be in big trouble too, Tim Horan. This would be tragic from uh, the Reds' point of view. He's fought to get back into some sort of form. Eels, the injury there is obvious. So hopefully we'll see John Eels back in the fullness of time. Yes, it looks like he's got a cut underneath his eye. Certainly a lot of blood. 
looks like Zimora might have a leg injury. He's limping off. Horan is off. So is Eels. Two of the greats of Australian rugby go at the same time to be replaced by Nathan Sharp and Elton Flatley. Huge man, the Australian under 21 captain Nathan Sharp. Not uh, when he becomes a wallaby, it's uh, it's not if it's when. They go the opposite way though. Iramia stabs it through for Lomu. Latham. And a brave move by Chris Latham in the face of the charging Jonah Lomu. Threw the ball away across uh, the hoardings, so it's a penalty. And uh, Norm Hewitt, well, he's, uh, he's asked Holwell to come up and kick for goal again. Well, I suppose that sort of just completely finishes the, the Queens and Reds if he kicks it. Well, it was absolutely accidental. Paul Tito charging forward, hitting just below John Eels's, his head and actually catching his cheek by the look of it. Bit of raw Taranaki bone there, eh? This is the man, Paul Tito, the local lad. The first time he touched the ball, of course, he was fairly keen to get into it, and the crowd were willing him on. Not this time for David Holwell. So just a three-point score so far in the second half. 36 points to 13. It's a big ask for the Queensland team. Comprehensively beaten last week. Well down on the scoreboard in this game. They need to pick themselves up. Remember, too, they were the top qualifiers in 1999. Here's Umaga. Sets it for Spice. Surveys the options. Off to Iremia on his favoured left boot. Well, it was too long, that kick. Here's a Kefu. Umaga charges at him. Well, Kepu was indecisive. And John Connolly giving the chewing gum a jolly good work over. Well, that just about says it all uh, in this match, doesn't it? Just not enough uh, planning by the, by the Queensland Reds. Not enough decision. Somehow they're hesitant and, uh, and they're being shown up. Yes, the word aimless springs to mind. Tito. Oh, well, now, another little chip by Iremia. Latham gets a nice bounce. Needed it, too. Five out from the 22. Hurricanes ploughing forward, but also piling over the top. So that's three kicks in a row from Iremia. All of them a little bit firm. The intention is correct, putting the ball behind the Queensland back line. That's the idea. Williams certainly got this Hurricanes back line pinging along. All the tries for the Hurricanes have been scored by the backs. Hardman. And that's not straight. Another change coming up here, Campbell Feather, who's had a solid game, replaced by Simo Satiti. Now Holwell, O'Halloran, little pass to Lomu. Off to Hewitt. Here's Satiti, straight onto the field and given the ball. 
Now they're lining up to take the passes. Hewitt, though, to straighten it. Having a big game around the park, Norm Hewitt. Howell looks on the inside for Yates. Good, solid defence by the Reds, having to make some telling tackles. Falcon takes a couple of extra players with him. Now they get it back. Howell. They didn't buy the inside swerve. Ball lost it forward, and he's playing advantage. So the ball was lost in the tackle by the Hurricanes. Queensland is desperately trying to make something of, of very little, I, I suspect. But they've got an opportunity now. Scrum almost centre field, which of course gives them a huge blind side where they've actually got several players lined out. As you can see, one, two, three, with a fourth drifting across. And that opens up that right-hand side of the field where they only have two players. I'm picking they'll want to go. They're loading the short side, I'd say, and they'll go open. But let's let's wait and see. That battle tonight, Kubu Benisi against David Wilson. Afiaki's out of it for the night, of course. Cross hall, gate. Sam Cordingly. Fifteen minutes into the second half, Dram didn't have a lot of support there with him. Five metres in Hurricanes territory. Accordingly, again, heaves it out to Hartman. Always takes uh, the short route right up the middle, Sean Hartman. Accordingly, again for Drum Elton, flatly. Benisi sticks to him on the 10 metre line. Accordingly, right across as far as uh, Latham. But Damien Smith out there, but Holwell comes up with a good tackle. Got the arm extended, Andy Turner. May just be playing advantage. Advantage over inside the 22. Good passage of play here from the Reds. Again playing advantage. So accordingly for Dram. Flatly Dram. Lovely in pass to Nathan Sharp. Really are stringing it together well here. Dram for Herbert. Holwell again making a lot of tackles. Good example of the new law. The ball is able to be recycled quickly and often. Flatly again. Now they've lost it, it would seem. And the first knock on came from the Hurricanes. So the ball must have been turned over for the Hurricanes to have made that mistake. But it was a great little passage from Queens and not really being able to stick too much together, but each time retaining possession. And of course, deep inside the Hurricanes territory. Well, they've got the problems uh, tonight, the Reds, as players all over the place again. Remembering that Horan is gone. Heels is currently off, may not come back. That yes, we'll like uh, Sean Hartman, who's uh, been in trouble tonight. Fletcher Dyson, the try scorer. Well, the attrition rate is extraordinary, isn't it? I mean, everyone's been talking about the depth on the bench being so vital to this these Super 12 squads and we're seeing a classic graphic demonstration of that tonight with Queens and Reds losing so many players we well, can see a couple of uh, a there's very little to criticise in the Hurricanes game, but uh, I think on this movement they decided to go up the, up the centre of the field rather than moving it wide, and eventually they lost uh, track of it. There you see again uh, a little bit of an experience from Falcon. Uh, just not quite on his game. He's got a bit to learn yet. Enormous skills, but still a bit to learn. Injuries tidied up for the red says uh, Gordon Falcon up. 23 point advantage for the Hurricanes 17 minutes into the second half offside play against uh, the Hurricanes again the Reds are dangerous when they do this 
almost to the line they go. Referee skirts around to have a look. Accordingly wants it. Now accordingly has a little go and he goes at the base of the post. Yes, you can do that. You can go to the base of the post and clever play by Sam Cordingly. Yes, that's using using your head for sure. He was down low. He could see the goalpost. He could see the ball. Let's see if we can see it from here. Look at this. He's watching. Look at that right eye of his. He knows what he has to do. He's just waiting. And then, dab. Well, hard to stop, isn't it? When all the Hurricane players are standing behind that post. <laughs> this will be a great angle to see it from. Well, he certainly knew the referee was standing there to him. Most of these referees know their rules. Only a halfback could think of that uh, that move, you know. Well, it was certainly the short route. All he had to do was bang it at the base That's right. of the post, and he got the try and the conversion. So 36 points now to 20. The Reds aren't out of this yet. Accordingly, straight away, big break. Now the kick and chase. Lomu and Umang are getting back. Cordingley's the lone ranger. But they'll take it back to the 22. Magnificent match all round from Cordingley. Incredible how he backed his pace by kicking that ball ahead. And all he was competing against was Christian Cullen, Jonah Lomu and Tana Umanga. But you've got to back yourself, I guess. Graham waits for this. Off to Kefu. And all of the ball in the last uh, five or six minutes, the Reds. Accordingly for Graham. Big tackle. Kupu Venisi, I think it was. Now, here's a chance for the Reds. Damian Smith, but hang on. There's some obstruction there. Not that he could avoid it, but it happened nonetheless. Damien Smith, long-time Wallaby wing. I believe he was born here in Taranaki. Chris Latham took a couple of players out, and Damien Smith is thwarted. Was uh, Kupu Venisi? Just have a look at this tackle. Magnificent. Superb copybook tackle, really. Underneath the ball. Now the Hurricanes. Here's uh, Satiti. Good support from Venisi. Controlling the ball was uh, Slater. Now it's Holwell to O'Halloran. Up for Umanga. Defence has been much better in midfield in the second half and it was lost it was a great little passage of play Yates showing his skills Satiti twisting in the tackle keeping the ball alive very good play Kubu Vanessi this was against uh, Gordon Falcon who wasn't bound well he was told to but he kept the head up Hurricanes are just beginning to fall off the odd tackle here. The two or three uh, close-in tackles have been missed. They can't afford to do this against a side of this quality. They've certainly hung in here, the, the Queensland Reds. They were behind 33 to 13 at half time. They've had the better of the second half on the scoreboard. Well, they've had the better on the scoreboard. They've also had the better of possession and territory. And yet 36 points to 20. Tipped by Sharp. Waller is after the loose ball. 10 metre line in Reds territory. Delivered off to Kefu. Benisi's making the big tackles tonight for the Hurricanes. Yes, 
Manisi was very lucky to get away with that because she was playing under the old rules there, coming in from the opposite side. Yochi Phil Ewan to replace Jason Spice. Watch Venisi here, comes in from the wrong side. Very lucky not to get a penalty against him. Last year, of course, that was legit. This year, he has to retreat, come back from behind the last man involved in the tackle. Now, accordingly, off to Drum, flatly. Kefu. Haven't given Kefu a lot of latitude. Seem to lose that forward referee just on the wrong side. Not picked up by the touch judges either. Plowing on was uh, sharp. Now uh, Nick Styles, number 21. The 10 metre line in Hurricanes territory. Drama. Delays the pass for Hartman. Shows a nice step inside. Accordingly, again, sharp and Umunga. Not afraid to make the big tackles, Tana Umunga, and drops the big lock forward. Now flatly, just saw the gap, but it closed smartly on him. Now accordingly, across to Styles. A fair few forwards standing out wide. Draft change of direction for Latham. Looking for some support. Inside the 22 goes uh, Chris Latham. This is a terrific rally by the Reds. Now Dram, Sharp has another go. And pops it up, and Umunga gets the run. Now the chase. The speedsters are all in this. Cullen leading the charge. Cullen! Well, it was a great sprint for the ball, and the ball bounced up. And so often it does for this man, Christian Cullen. This is where the loose pass was turned over. It was Phil Ewan that fed Umaga, who made the break on the outside and the sensible kick ahead. And now it's just a straight gas for the ball. And look at it pop up. Christian Cullen, another try. It's a cruel, cruel game, this. The Reds have been attacking, attacking and attacking. And they lose it. Umaga puts in the perfect kick. And then he leaves it to the speedster, Christian Cullen. Marvellous opportunism, wasn't it? And Bill Ewan took the instant snap decision to, to clear it. Once again, we saw a, the, right, uh, the right decision at the right moment. Uh, very creative play. David Holwell, he's had plenty of goal-kicking practice tonight. John Connolly, they say that this might be his last year with Queensland. Here's Holwell. Practice makes perfect. 43 points to 20. Right, Nisbo, you get the feeling that uh, the Hurricanes needed that. Uh, the Reds were beginning to get to them. They were getting back into the game, but this should break uh, break their spirit. Yes, yeah, so they were under siege, uh, the Hurricanes, but they've come out of it with a seven-pointer, Tito. They haven't had a lot of ball to play with in the second half, the Hurricanes. Yucky Phil Ewan, Chris Latham, not too many options here for him. <laughs> and he's surrounded by men in yellow. Phil Ewan, here's a Ramirez. could open up. Oh, how what a clever kick. Crowd is baying. They think it was a late tackle. And uh, Tupper Henning giving the word to Andy Turner. I think he would have seen it himself. And the penalty, in fact, uh, goes right back to where the ball landed anyway. Well, it was beautifully won, beautifully turned over by the Hurricanes. That's pressure on the tackle. The little kick went through, and that's where Christian Callan out of the screen was. Was I think there was an obstruction. That was that was it. Well, there it is. There, accidental. Uh, I well. Who knows? Who knows? Thanks, Desmond. Lost, lost for words. <laughs> Never happened before, Mary. 
attacking the line out. David Wilson comes away. Clean break here by Wilson. Suddenly he sees it's Lomu. So he thinks, I'm not going to out sprint him, but he did well. Now they've got a big line up here, the Reds. Nathan Williams is a speedster. Umanga shadows him, though. Iramia. Knocked out in the tackle of Flatley. And they play the first loss forward. It was by the Hurricanes as this game was speeds up and down the park. So it all started from a little bit of obstruction in the line-out. David Wilson taking the opportunity. Good drive, setting it up. Perfect ball. Look at that. He can do that because he's not held on the ground. Well, everybody was involved here. Now Queensland's turn to move it. Good use of the ball. Everybody trying to create an opening. The odd little mistake creeping in there. Big changes in the Hurricanes here. Tanavili is on for David Holwell. There's Brad Fleming. He's gone onto the right wing. Alama Iremia is off the park and uh, Tana Umanga has gone to centre. So that's pretty much used up the quota, although we haven't yet seen Mike Edwards or Shane Carter. Well, the strike power of the Hurricanes' backs is, uh, is enormous. Really, when you see Umanga moving into centre, Fleming with all his speed on the wing, and Lomu still on the other wing with Cullen at fullback. They certainly have an array of talent. to turn it over. So, a completely rearranged back line here for the Hurricanes. Tanavili is at uh, first 5-8. Falcon off the back to Phil Ewan. He's got players inside, so Titi just couldn't get it back. He's knocked down, in fact, playing advantage here for the Reds. Herbert. And an awkward one for Christian Cullen. Oh, no, I think it was a mistake, really. <laughs> well, I think he got a surprise that it came straight to him. But the man's allowed to make a mistake every now and again, once a decade. So let's see what Queensland can do here. Stretched out and not using him. If he goes in short, now accordingly off the drum. Knocked down by a Hurricanes player. O'Halloran goes in after Sean Hartman. And uh, we'll reset the scrum just out from the 22 with the Hurricanes well in control. So let's see what the Queenslanders do this time. Very big short side, as you can see. Number eight going to pick up the ball. Kepu straight across to Drum, now accordingly. Stabs it towards uh, the right wing, but really wasted ball there. Well, it was. It, over. it was, because they worked the move, which I thought was quite a good move, but really to take advantage of that move, he really had to continue to run. The idea was to put him in, in space, which he had, and then he kicked. So this is the engine room, ladies and gents. This is where the hard work is done. Gordon Slater there. There's a chance for the Reds. It's there for them again, accordingly. Well snapped up by Elton Flatley. Daniel Herbert takes it in. Now Graham offside against the Hurricanes. Well, he's been lurking on the edge of that ruck all night, really, old Norm. Would have been embarrassing for him if he'd had to run all the way, wouldn't it? back 10 meters so referee plays another advantage piling on goes uh, Nick Stiles accordingly has them all lined up 
to the left. Hurricanes ready to go. Offside against uh, the Hurricanes backs again. And he's got to play another penalty. He got the call from the sideline there. Did uh, Andy Turner. It's very close to a try, actually. I was just trying to see where that ball was over the line. The ref couldn't see it. Please talk to your players. Ball, please. Thank you. Thanks, Franz. Do you want a scrum? Opting for a scrum here. That's a good move. That pulls everybody in. So Queensland, of course, need to score four tries to take away a point from this match. One championship point. It's the only way they're going to get any points. Scott Favour, number 19, coming on. In place of Mark Murray, number six. Big fellow, too. Getting the forward pack in behind the Hurricanes, desperately trying to stave them off. Another go at the line, they've had a few of them, and hands from the Hurricanes. Leon Waller. And before, I think he said Dion Waller, he was fairly adamant. Mr. Turner. So they've opted for a scrum again, Nisbo. Interesting, isn't it? Determined to score from this close quarter play. Huge territorial advantage in the second half for the Reds. They've only managed to produce one try so far. Maybe a chance here. Phil Ewan does a good job on Kefu. Now accordingly looking for number two. And Damian Smith. Well, what do you reckon? Well, we might get the third umpire for the first time here. This could be our big moment. Lyndon Bray is going to have a look. Well, this is what we've all been waiting for, isn't it? Confirmation. And it's a very good example, I think, uh, of the need for, a, for the video ref. It's, he, he may well have grounded the ball right on the line. Well, it looks to me like it was a try. I'll go for the try. Yes, all the way. Well, I think that's a try. Go back one little frame, I'd say. If you forget about the forward pass that preceded it. But that's gone. Yeah. Well, it is, because they're calling for the judgment over the goal line. So, in other words, the forward pass is history. Yes. Is it try? Ball grounder? Well, it's worked and it worked well, didn't it? Damien Smith is given a try and it was a fair try too. And there is the value of the video referee. Well, <laughs> a major statement. A loud but cheer goes up all around the country. We've got it right. So that's Queensland's third try. They need one more for a point. That'll certainly be in their sights. It's been a very good second half from the Reds. They've shown some real heart. Uh, the veteran winger Damien Smith scores try number three for the Reds tonight 43 25 and about five minutes remaining so 68 points scored already in this game Tim Tavalier is on for the Reds Americans have been shut out for a lot of this second half for Liu and clears Tanabili oh, Halloran wasn't expecting it Interesting to see Jason O'Halloran there. Reported in the paper this morning as saying 
Uh, this time last year, he's just about ready to give it away. He was so frustrated with the new law, well, the old law it was, of course. Much better this year. Yes, I'd say he'd feel a lot better about it. And also, maximum points for the Hurricanes in the first two matches of the Super 12 would be fairly encouraging. There's nothing like developing spirit through winning and through the team playing well and great flowing movements like we've seen tonight culminating in excellent tries have to get rid of this quickly and they do now brad fleming driven back in a powerful tackle by herbert but he did well to recycle phil ewan puts tan up barely into the gap looking for lomu haven't cited him much in the second half five out from the 22 and they'll get the scrum the hurricanes so they certainly look lethal the hurricanes when they're free when the ball's out every time they get the ball to space they look dangerous they almost look like they're going to score a try every time they're free well you with the feed so he's tapping uh Falcon, the message, your ball. Went the other way, though, did Gordon Falcon, and held on. Well, he had to, really. The scrum had twisted around that way. He couldn't really feed his halfback. He had to take it himself. And, of course, the new rule says if the scrum twists, then the number eight must action it, or it's use it or lose it. If the scrum turns around and you don't clear the ball, then it's turned over to the opposition. Connors making the call. Tava Lear to throw. It's uh, not straight, but it doesn't matter because the Hurricanes have it. Ripped away by Norm Hewitt. Now for Lewin. Billy. Lining up on the blind side, Hewitt. Slips it in close to. Satiti. Now for Lewin. Not too many out on this uh, side here as the defence comes up very flat. Now Fleming. He's very fast, Brad Fleming. Very quick. Satiti. And just lost Umanga, who decided to come in field. And Satiti was unsure. It was a delightful little run of Bradley Fleming. Instant acceleration, good body movement. Have a look at this. Beautifully beat the first man through the second and puts the TD in the clear. There's a little bit of lack of communication there. I think Umanga was coming in, looking for the cut. Brad Fleming made his name initially as a sevens player, very, very fast. Well, he's a former national title holder for 100 metres. Junior, I think. It's good to see these younger players being given a run, isn't it? Uh, Satiti and Billy, uh, Fleming as well. It's, uh, the game has already been won. Uh, it gives them a, an opportunity to, to have a go without any inhibition. Big party tonight in New Plymouth. National Surf Life Saving Championship for an editor as well. As four half-naked bodies run onto the field. Kefu off the bat for the Reds. And that's it. Norm Hewitt throws the hands in the air. It wasn't a great second half performance by the Hurricanes. The Reds really took it to them. But the Hurricanes had that huge buffer at half time. They led by 33 to 13. And they finished up winning here tonight by 43 to 25. Well, it was hardly the perfect performance by the Hurricanes, but talk about exceptional action and some magnificent tries scored right from set play really a tremendous 
effort and tremendously delightful position for Graham Murray and Brian Williams at this stage of the season. I thought Holwell and Al Halloran were outstanding at distributing the ball. And of course, all that strike power out wide for the Hurricanes. They were just dynamic. They had a plethora of options for sure. And of course, Queensland, well, they'll go into the tunnel looking and feeling really sad about the situation. Been in New Zealand for two matches, been well beaten on both occasions. They have a wealth of talent, of course, in that Queensland side, and I'm sure they're one side that will bounce back. Six tries to two for the six tries to three, in fact, for the Hurricanes uh, tonight. Umanga have got three of them, and David Holwell chimed in with five conversions and a penalty. They led by 33 points to 13 at half time, and they've taken the maximum points. Rugby Park in New Plymouth winning by 43 points to 25.